So I'm going to give you two examples that are one of which you've seen and one which you haven't, um, which illustrate this but in a less obvious way. Okay? So let's come back to recurrence relations. Now, obviously, I could go integration by parts, but what happens? It doesn't, it doesn't work out great, does it? It sort of um, it, it collapses in a heap in a similar way that our, um, our example just now did. You end up, no matter which way you choose u and dv, it's just an awful mess. Okay? So that leads you back to this thing and you think, what can I possibly do with this to make it easier to work with? Okay? Now, remember the example I just gave you. It was easy because you could see the f dash and you can see the f nice and simple. Okay? There's the f dash, there's your f to the power of 9, no problems. Okay? Now believe it or not, there's an f dash and an f in here hiding. The question is, where? Hmm. Now, we're going to think about, you know, before this example, we avoided the idea of integration by parts, even though it's a product, by use of substitution. Okay? The other handy thing that you can use is trig identities, or really any kind of identities, right? But trig identities are particularly useful. I want, I've got a whole bunch of tans here, don't I? What's the derivative of tan? It's sex squared, isn't it? The derivative of tan equals sec squared. So if I can pull that a sec squared from here, then I'll be able to see that there I've got an f dash and a whole bunch of f's, right? That didn't come out right. Um, and then I can just do the same kind of thing here. I can do it by substitution. Okay. So how will I get a sec squared out of this guy? How do we usually get it out of tans? I need a tan squared, don't I? Okay. So therefore, that leads me to write this. If I write tan squared x, if I've taken out 2, how many do I have left? N minus 2 of them. Okay, there you go. Right. So what's this going to be equal to? Well, we just said tan squared, what's it equal to in terms of sec? Sec squared minus 1. Okay, and this doesn't look all that nice, but stay with it, okay? One of the reasons why I know this is going to be useful for me is because this guy, I can express it in terms of I am, because I'm looking for a recurrence relation, aren't I, right? So he's no problem, even though he looks weird. What happens when I expand this out? I'll just get sec squared tan. Uh, whoops, sorry, this should be next there. There's that, and then I've got this, just the tan term. Okay? Now, I'm not worried about this guy. As an integral on his own, he's just, what is he? He's i n minus 2, isn't he? Because that's what the power is. What about this? Well, there's my f dash, and there's my f. Right? So therefore, what's this going to be good? If I treat them separately, right? Let's have sec squared there. And I'm going to subtract, just like you told me, i n, but it's n minus 2. What does this look like? Do we need to do the substitution to make sure we get it right? Or do you think you can do it in your heads? I think we can do it. What are you going to get? Um, when you've integrated this, right, it's something to a power, right? So what's going to happen to it? It'll become n minus 1. The power goes up, x. And then what? I have to divide by n minus 1, right? Now just check if we differentiate it to go back, would we get what we expected? <coughs> you do the inside function, which is tan, there's your sec squared that pops out, and then your powers just kind of take care of themselves, don't they? So that looks good. Minus this, and because I've finished my, um, actually I haven't finished my last integration, so I don't need to add a constant. The constant's kind of bound up in there, okay? So there you go. That's it. No integration by parts necessary, okay? Because as you've seen, if you use it at the wrong times, uh, yeah, you're not going to have a fun time. Okay, so there you go.